Hello, welcome to All Around the Board, and today we will be taking a look at Calico by AG and Flat Out Games. Calico is a puzzle game for one to four players. Players take on the role of quilters, and you will be taking patches on your go and placing them onto your quilt. And the winner of the game is the player with the comfiest quilt. And who decides which is the comfiest quilt? Well, of course, it's the cats that are involved in the game. Yes, and if the cats are happy, then you're going to score points. Let's head to the table and I'll show you Calico and how it works. So here we go, this is Calico all laid out as if it were going to be a four player game. We have quite a bit going on here, but honestly this game is very simple to pick up. It's just really hard to master. Let's just take a moment and see how beautiful this game is. It's colourful, vibrant, it just looks so bright and happy, and I feel good when I play it. Uh, well, apart from the brain burn. So the objective of Calico is to get the most points. The way you get points is in three different ways, which I'll show you just now. The first way is you get three points for every one of these tokens you have. And you get it by having three or more of the same colour next to each other. And you can use the edge of your board towards that. So over here we have an example. This one we have three yellows together and this one's part of the actual board. So that counts as three and you're going to put the token just on there. This one down here we have four pinks. So we're going to get a pink token here. However, if I added this pink token to my board... I won't get another one. Similarly, if I get six, you do not get a second. So I would have to go ahead and make a second lot of pink somewhere else. However, you do get a rainbow token if you can get on your board one of each of the six colors. That's really tricky to do, but if you do get that rainbow, then you get to put it anywhere on your board. The second way you get points is from these cats here. So the tokens are above with either five points, seven points, or 11 points. And they are on the underside just to make things a little easier. Now, the way you get these points are going to depend on which of the cats that go out. Now, these are the three that I've put out just for the example of this video, because you're gonna take a level one, a level two, and a level three. Underneath, you take the six patterns and you shuffle them. Now, they are in black and white because they can have the pattern on different colors. To get one of these cat tokens with points on, you'll have to do one of these patterns in this shape here. So for this one, it's have three in a straight line in that pattern or that pattern. This one, we need five or more grouped together in this pattern and this pattern. And similarly, this one, you need seven or more in this pattern or this pattern. So you could spend ages going for this one. However, you might get a couple of these and actually net yourself more points. But you'll find that as you play. As soon as you've completed one of these three objectives, you can take the corresponding cat and place it onto your board. So in this example, I have three of this pattern in a line across here. So I get to put my cat on there. The third way of scoring points is from these tokens here. At the beginning of the game, you're going to get six of these. You're going to randomly shuffle, draw four, and choose three of them to put on your board. Each of these tokens has a points value in blue and a points value in yellow. For the blue points, you're going to have to do either the colour or the pattern, depending on what the goal of the token is. However, if you want the yellow number, you need to do the colour and the pattern, and I'm going to explain how that works with these three examples just here. So let's start with this one. This one says A, A, B, B, C, and D. Now for this one, I've done the pattern, but I haven't done the colour, so I'd only be eligible for the five points. These two would count as A, these two can count as my B, this one can count as C, and this one as D, because as you can see, the patterns here are the same, and these patterns are the same, and then these are two other patterns that don't match these. So I would get five. However, I haven't done the colour because I've got two blue, a purple, a dark blue, a pink, and a yellow. So unfortunately, I haven't done A, A, B, B, C, and D for the colour, but I have for the pattern. On this one, it's got four A's and one B. But this one is colour and not pattern. So I've done four colour, because you can see they're green for the A's, and I've got two blue, which are for B's. But unfortunately, I haven't managed to do the same for pattern as well, because, well, I've got quite a few patterns going on here. However, if this was polka dot, and then these two were the same pattern, I would actually get it for color and the pattern. And then finally, we have this one. This one means you need all different, so different color and different pattern. And on here, I have got six different colors, 
and six different patterns. None of these patterns match one another. So in this case, I would actually get the 15 points instead of the 10. Now, as nice as it would be to get the higher numbers, it's really difficult to do both pattern and colors. Sometimes it's worth just doing something like this just to get the game going because sometimes you can't get the right tokens from the middle. But that is how you get points from those tokens there. So how does a round work in a game of Calico? Well, what we have is two tiles per player, and these will be hidden in players' hands. On a player's go, they will take one of their two patches, and they can place it anywhere on their board, bearing in mind that they are trying to score points for these, the cat, and the colours. Once they have placed a token, they can take one of the three from the middle, and then the middle gets refilled back up to three. And then it will be the next player, they will place one on their board, and they'll take another one from the three, and play continues this way until all players have filled up their boards fully. Now that is what I love about the game, it really is as simple as that. Once your player boards are filled, you will then go to the scoring phase where you will use this sheet, you will put the players' names at the top. This symbol means the points on these. This symbol means your points for the cats. And this symbol is the points for all the buttons that you have here. And then tilt that up and see who has won the game. In the rule book, you have a beginner's setup. So if you're not quite ready for a full game, you can check that out. You also have the standard setup for the game that I've showed you just there. In the back here, we have some variants. And we also have a solo mode. On the back here, it tells you all of the different cats you can get and all the different scoring tiles you can get. And in the back here, you can also do some achievements with up to six players. There's also some scenarios that you can play later on in the back here. And I will leave you guys to find those out by yourself. But there is a lot of variant in this simple little game. So a few thoughts about Calico. Well... I really enjoy the game. I absolutely love it. I love the puzzle element. I love the fact that it gets you thinking. However, I prefer it with four players. I must admit, you don't see many tiles if you play with two players. You don't actually take any tiles out, depending on player count. And yeah, sometimes you're waiting for certain patches that will just never come out if you play with two or three players. However, if you play with four players, then all of the patches come out, which means you're going to see all of the patches throughout the game. Now that is just the one minor. There are lots of majors. Firstly, this game is beautiful. It looks good on the table. It's, it just feels really nice to play, even though it does burn my brain. But one lovely thing that stands out are the player boards, because they are double layered, which means when you're putting your tiles on the board, they aren't going to start sliding around, and I love that. And I only wish that other games that are similar would do the same, but you know, you can't have everything. Now, if you're a cat lover, you might be a little bit disappointed, because the cover suggests that it's about cats. And it's not about cats, it's actually about quilt making. Although there are cats that are part of the tokens, but other than that, it's not really about cats. But the cats that are included are so cute, I love the tokens that you can put down. And if you look at the back of the rule book, they have the real cats that the cats in this game are based on. Now when I very first played this game, this reminded me of Azul and Sagrada. However, I find that the action taken in this is a lot simpler than the other two games. However, the scoring is harder. So, what I'm trying to say is, if you like Azul and Sagrada, this is probably going to fit the bill, especially if you want something that's a little more challenging. But overall, I find Calico is a fantastic game, and I think it's going to be one of those games that is going to end up in most people's collections. The game is released at the end of this month, so if you get a chance, please try it out. Let me know in the comments below if you end up playing the game or if you bought the game based on this recommendation. In the meantime, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to check out my Patreon page where for as little as £1 you can help support me make these videos. And if you've got time, head over to Facebook and Instagram where I am constantly posting pictures of games, especially ones like Calico and some other ones that I will be filming very soon. But in the meantime, I will say goodbye and I will catch you on the next video.